Hi everyone, my name is Dylan and today I'd like to introduce you to a brand new feature from GoDaddy Studio called Wallpaper Maker. And yep, that's exactly what it does. It enables you to create wallpapers for your phone. And this new feature has been designed very much with the new iOS 16 from Apple in mind, which puts a lot of emphasis on customized lock screens. So this new feature really uh, enables you to get involved with that. It's also just in line with what we do at GoDaddy Studio, customization, personalization for your brand, your identity is what we're all about. And of course, it's just a lot of fun to play around with. So let's jump in and take a look at how it works. Okay, now assuming you have uh, installed the latest update of the GoDaddy Studio app, you should now see uh, within your templates feed right at the top, there's a brand new quick start for Wallpaper Maker. And that's obviously where we're gonna head now. And uh, once you're inside, you'll see that there is a default pattern laid out for you. You can very easily remove this by just tapping on those icons at the bottom. So we'll get rid of the flame, the watermelon, and, uh, and the laugh cry emoji, leaving us now with a blank slate to add our own uh, custom design. So to do that, I'm gonna hold down on this plus button at the bottom left. And you'll see I have the option to either add an artwork, which refers uh, to GoDaddy Studio graphics. Uh, I could also create a pattern using a photo or emojis. So let's take a look at each of these in turn, starting with artwork, which will take me to a selection of GoDaddy Studio graphics. Now, if you know GoDaddy Studio, you'll know that's what we're famous for. There are tens of thousands of beautiful custom-made graphics inside the app and several of these have been curated here. Uh, these have been selected because they work particularly well for making patterns. Uh, there will be more graphic packs uh, released into this collection very soon, so look out for that. Uh, but for my purposes, I think I'm gonna use one of these from the Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month packs. It's got some really cool graphic elements like, uh, like this flower and I can add a koi fish and perhaps this crane over here. And you'll see that obviously as I tap them, it just adds them to the canvas. I can have a look here and you can see they're laid out for me. The next thing I'd like to change is the background. So I'm gonna tap on this color wheel at the bottom left-hand side. And here I can choose from either solid colors or gradients for my, bra for my background. And what I really like is that it enables you to, to see it in real time. As you tap on any of the options, you can see what they look like. Um, I think I'm going to opt for a gradient this time. Yeah, something like that looks pretty good. All right, so I have my background and my pat in place. Uh, now I have a couple of different layout options. So it defaults to large grid, but you'll see right at the bottom here, I can select between a small grid, a medium grid, a large grid, rings, and even a spiral pattern. I think I'm gonna go for rings today. And the other final thing you might wanna change when you're customizing your design, on the bottom right-hand side, you'll see there's the cycle button. So tap that and it'll, uh, using that same pattern, but just rearranging the elements in a different order for a slightly different version of that pattern. So I want one with the flower right in the center. Uh, just tap it a few times to find that. There we go. Now what's really cool is you can simply tap on the canvas to get a preview of what your lock screen is going to look like. So that looks pretty good to me. Tap on, tap off for that preview. All right, now let's take a look at uh, some of the other elements you can add to play around with uh, the wallpaper maker. I'm going to remove these existing ones. Again, hold down that plus, and this time let me show you how easy it is to create a pattern with emojis. It'll call up this box for you, and what you wanna do now is just tap on the emoji button on your keyboard and from here you can uh, select a couple of emojis, as many as you'd like, really. Um, I'm gonna go for a kind of a spacey theme with aliens, UFOs, and planets and stars. Hit OK, and there we go, it lays it out for you. Of course, the next thing I'd wanna do is change my background. Let's go something quite dark, and maybe we'll go for a spiral pattern for this one to give it that trippy, spacey effect. Right, and then, uh, as you recall, there is a third option for adding elements to your design and that is of course a photo so let's tap on that now if you just select a regular photo from your photo library you're probably going to be a bit disappointed in the sense that it just maintains the square format of your photo 
So there's not too much you can do with that. It starts to starts to get a bit samey. Uh, so here's a, a neat little trick for you. Uh, I'd suggest you jump out of the wallpaper maker, uh, jump into a project where you uh, select a blank canvas and add any image to that canvas. And then we're going to use the uh, remove background tool. Uh, just tap on that to very quickly remove the background from this image. There we go, it's cut it out nicely. I'm now going to just save this as a PNG, which means it'll maintain that transparent background. So just save that current page. And I'll close this, jump back into Wallpaper Maker. And now if I select uh, this plus icon, I can now add a photo. I'm going to select that cut out image and you'll see that works a lot better. So let's just change the background. Yep, something like that. And again, you can play around with different patterns. I'm gonna go with large grid. So that's a really neat way to create a truly personalized lock screen, perhaps featuring something or somebody that you love, somebody close to your heart. Um, one other really cool thing that you can do using the photo function, if I just uh, delete that and I add a photo, you can use a logo that you've perhaps designed in GoDaddy Studio, saved again as a PNG, and now it's in my pictures folder. I can just add that, and that looks pretty, pretty professional, I would say, to have your own logo as a, as a custom lock screen wallpaper for your phone. All right, now when you are ready to save your design, you would obviously just tap on save at the top right hand corner, and uh, here you get the option to just save image, and once you've done that, it's going to be in your photos folder. Simply tap on it, uh, hit share at the bottom left, and you'll see there's an option now to use as wallpaper. Tap that, and that's all you need to do to fully customize your lock screen with a wallpaper design created in GoDaddy Studio. GoDaddy Studio is a free app that you can download right now. All the links you need are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Please think about subscribing to this channel if you want to keep learning about GoDaddy Studio, and I'll see you next time.